This is Pokemon Emerald Rogue, the procedurally generated game where all Pokemon and routes are randomized, and you face a gym leader after every single route that gets harder and harder as you progress through the game. In attempt number three, we get an epic start, rolling with a Cyndaquil right off the bat. In our last run, we realized that money's very important, especially stockpiling it. And if you do the boulder routes, you can get a lot more items to sell. The downside is there's only two Pokemon to be found on the boulder routes. And with our luck, we got a Pichu. Luckily, Paris or Cyndaquil evolves, and then we get access to an Elekid, which is at least somewhat useful when it evolves. In the next area, we catch all these pieces of crap with hopes that they're going to help us get through the first gym. And in the first gym, this time we take on Watson, the electric trainer. And Paris just immediately comes out swinging, dropping one Pokemon one after the other, showing off just how easy that first gym can be sometimes, but this garbage team is desperately in need of some improvements. So we add a bell sprout in hopes of a victory bell someday, as well as an anorith, and we get a weeping bell fairly fast, which should be a quick boost to the team. And Zumba also found a way to make itself more useful. But do you know what's even better? Apparently friendship based Pokemon are now level based in this game. Gym number two is Brawly, the fighting type trainer this time, and our brand new Super Zumba is ready for the call. But this Breloom was smart, holding a focus sash, preventing the four times damage, and then redirecting some of it right back at me. But Scotland gets things back on track, but not before getting drilled by a pursuit as she tries to escape the next battler, ending her life. Lil Benny comes in to make a name for himself, and the second gym is done and dusted, and Lil Benny earns himself a promotion. Even better, we find ourselves a Croconaw. Now we're talking. We named it Cowboy, and it's already ready to be a Feraligator. We make it to the rest stop, but there's still no Leaf Stone, so Weeping Bell's not doing us any favors. So we decide to trade it in, and we get a Kabuto, which is a water rock type, which we also don't really need, but oh well. We take on Flannery in the third gym, the fire type trainer. Her Hound Doom hits really hard, but Jeffrey is up to the task. Cowboy might not have any water moves yet, but he's pretty damn good at digging. And Jeff finishes it off easy peasy, and the Dini Cult gods smile on us once again, providing us with another legendary. But first we gotta stop off at the game show, and this time around Zumba gets a little bit stronger, but then all of my Pokemon get weaker. We get 10k even though we're already rich in this run, and then we lost a grand. But our legendary is clearly a Reggie, we just have to figure out which one. But first, Paris has to evolve into Typhlosion, thank god. Turns out it's a Reggie Steel. some nice resistances on that. And in gym number four, we take on the psychic trainer, Liza. Cowboy still has no water moves, but he does have crunch. But of course I make a boneheaded decision and get our Registeel killed almost immediately. Luckily, Paris is an absolute god at this point, a god that we almost got killed here. And our baby boy Jeff is all grown up now and he hits pretty hard, winning another gym. We only lost our best Pokemon, no big deal. Luckily the game hands us a Poopitar that's already ready to be a Tyranitar. Ain't she a beauty? Good old Cletus. And we're rolling strong into the fifth gym against Norman the Normal Trainer. And just when I think I have an easy Kecleon to take down, he's got a fighting move, which we're quad weak to, but somehow we survive. And he does some damage to Zumba, but Zumba's still stronger. And of course his lowly cast form has a Hydro Pump, just making my life more difficult. And we lost our little boy Jeff to a very strong explode. Poor Jeff. We have to heal Cletus to stand a chance here. Luckily our waterless cowboy gets the job done, but unfortunately this Porygon 2 has Thunderbolt. Thanks for doing your part, cowboy. But little Benny is here to save the day. But of course we're on a roller coaster ride here and nothing's just going the way I want it to. We lose another baby boy, RIP little Benny. And it's up to Cletus to finish off the job. Another harsh gym, but we're moving on. We've only got three Pokemon going into Route 6. On the next route, we add a Meganium to the team, as well as a Scyther, which is not too shabby. The next stop is the Pokemon Lab, where we've never been before. In the lab, we get to revive one of our Pokemon, but if we choose to do so, we might also get a curse so there is a drawback. We decide to revive Cowboy because I promised him I'd get him a water move someday, but unfortunately we were gifted with a curse, and this curse makes it so that opponents have a 10% chance to activate Quick Claw during battle, meaning they would move first. Not ideal. I made Cowboy a promise, and I made sure to keep it. He now has Dive to go with his physical moveset. It's time to face Juan, the water trainer for gym number six, and our brand new little foot is ready to lead the way. Unfortunately, this love disc hit harder than I would have wanted it to with an ice beam, and this Zumba has a bit of trouble 
level with Ludicolo. Why do they all have Ice Beam? But unfortunately, Cowboy goes up against a mirror version of himself and cannot pull off the victory. At least I got you your water move, buddy. And I'm quickly finding out this is a world class for Alligator as he's just dropping my team. Bye bye, Lil Foot. Even our brand new Scyther gets one shotted. I bring Paris in to take a hit so that I can heal Zumba because Zumba's the only one that can even help me here. And it's a terrible sack to make because Paris has been the MVP for this run. Our only hope here was to pray for a flinch, but we didn't get it. And for Alligator whips out another Ice Beam, ending another life. And with Cletus getting one shot, the run is over. A promising run that ends very sadly due to an overpowered for Alligator and the wrong team set up to face it.